RK3 Designs. Guess what, Mitch? It's Tuesday night. Yes! And we are live. Welcome, everyone. Yes! All right, as you can see, I have my little friend here. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Mitch from Stone Coat Epoxy. We're having a good time. We are. This is going to be a good live. It is. Why? Because we're completely not prepared. That's right. <laughs> Those are the best lives. You just go with it. Now, the reason we're not prepared is we've been working all day on so many new projects yeah. to bring to you guys. It's been R&D day. Definitely R&D day. So we're working with some new products. We're working with some new colors, a whole new color product line mm -hmm. that I am so excited. So let's preference this live tonight. Many of the products that we are using tonight on the live right. are not quite available this to month. you yet. We're testing them. A lot is going to determine color-wise on some reviews that I get from you guys tonight. So if you usually don't leave comments, I really want you to leave some comments tonight because we're going to really be doing some research and everything before mm -hmm. we decide to order right. some of these colors. Now, why don't you tell them a little bit about the product, the epoxy we're using tonight. Cool. Yeah, I'll talk about the epoxy. Then you talk about how we made this white undercoat. Yes. Right. Yes. All right. So we are going to be mixing up and playing with some of our brand new Speed Cure. So what this product is designed for, it's designed for the pro. Somebody who's done this for a living, a contractor. You, or you've got quite a few countertops underneath your belt. It's gonna set up quick. It has extreme UV resistance with a fast cure time. It's, if Art Code is a 10 out of 10 for UV resistance for an epoxy, this would be about a 9.2. Uh, amazing, what is it? Amazing, amazing Quick, quick coat, coat from Alumalite would be about an 8.5. So it's close to that, but we've crammed just as much UV resistance as art coat into our speed cure. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna wanna do white or light colored countertops because five years down the road, you'll start getting that ambering mm -hmm. from epoxy, especially speed set hardeners are more prone to that. But we have crammed the most UV resistance into this bad boy. Yeah. Um, I've done, man, half a dozen or eight or so projects with this. Mm -hmm. I've done big uh, eight foot by three foot islands. Mm -hmm. And I've done two at a time. And I had about 25 to 30 minutes of working time. So we discussed this because mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. When I first used it, I was like, ugh, I don't like this at all. Yep. But we discussed it. And you have to do what? You have What's to the key? warm it. Yes. So we have to warm it. And that's some of the feedback I told some of our chemists. When they, they send it to me, I'm mixing it up. It's thicker product. We're going thicker for a couple reasons. But right now, I think it's a hair too thick. So to combat that, we're warming it up in front of a space heater, or folks, you can cut a hole in the top of a cardboard box. You're not gonna wanna use a heat gun, use a hair dryer. It's not gonna catch right, fire. Right, you right. You can cut a hole in the top, you can cut a hole in the bottom of your two gallon box, put your hair dryer on top, and that will warm up your, your resin perfectly. Keep it in there for 10 to 15 minutes, and it's really gonna change the viscosity of the material. When you get this shipped to you, you're gonna know it's, it doesn't move like that. It's because right. it's thicker, it's designed that way. Right. So we're, we're still in the testing process. We've got it out with some contractors. We're mm -hmm. getting feedback. They're all aligned saying it's a little too thick. So we're going to make a rolling change, probably thin it down. But we've been having a lot of fun with yeah, it. Yeah, now and, it and one, panels, all yes, and one thing I was really worried about is if we heated it, heated it, we were going to drastically use cut, our time. Uh, use our time. But what right. I found actually, it's kind of funny, heating it gets it to be more fluid, yep. I'm able to actually create what I want to yep. create faster, and then I'm done. So mm -hmm. it does it does kind of shorten the open Just time, a bit. but with the designs that we're doing, and yep. this is not a product that you can do every single design. Correct. There's going to be a Could few- be a little limited. Yes, a few key uh, designs that you're gonna be able to do with this. Right. But the cool thing is, you'll be able to do a design, Four hours later. Top coat it or clear coat it. Yeah, flood coat, man, you are boom, you're set, ready you're to on go. To the races, right? All right. So, so. Um, right, when I did a dirty pour, I peeled the tape at 25 minutes. Okay. And then I scraped drips at about 40 minutes and it stopped dripping. Yeah. 
I, four, yeah. Three to four hours later, you're coming back for the next step. In just a bit, don't let me cool. forget, guys, I will show you a piece that I poured just, well, two hours ago, three hours ago, mm -hmm. two hours ago, and you can already touch it. So I will show you that. Now, we have already heated this in the back a little bit, okay? And now he's going to mix it. Now, you do have to do more ounces per square yep. foot because Correct. it's not going to move as much. And that's really what I like about it is that because it is thicker, we're able to use more ounces per square foot, but it, my design is going to stay and it's not going to run off onto the table. So you would never use as much as we're using. And what are we deciding? We're using probably upwards of eight or nine yep. ounces per yep. square foot. And you'll notice we're not taping our edges, okay? You would never want to do that with regular epoxy or the art right. coat because unless you damage your edges using, yeah, using that much, you're, it's going to run off. So let me tell you the colors I'm doing tonight. Tell them they're working Yeah, so we told them we, you're going to mix. Just like quick coat, you want to get it out of the bucket too. I'm going to mix. So you also don't want to mix with a paddle mixer and a drill unless you have a full bucket. If, if my paddle mixer is barely in that epoxy, you're going to mix my hand. Right. Because you're going to whip way too much, much air inside of it. So you got about 25 to 35 minutes of working time. Um, and that's, that being said, you could still torch it up to 35, 40 minutes down the road mm -hmm. if you're mm -hmm. doing a clear coat. Mm -hmm. I did woodworking with this product. I applied a four ounce per square foot seal coat yep. over redwood and a river table. Not... A skim coat. Not a skim Not coat. A skim I coat. omitted the seal coats, right? Right. I went right to four ounces per square foot, and I had about 15 knots on that piece. All but two were filled, filled up. Awesome. So I went four more ounces on top of that. That bar top, which is now in Renovation Hunters, has two coats of this stuff. Solid. Solid. I finished, the, I finished the whole woodworking project in one day. Cool. That's awesome. So this is not going to be for the first time novice epoxy user correct okay and like you you touched on a very important point keep if, mixing <laughs> if art coat if art coat can do 20 right. finishes right this is probably going to do six to eight finishes right. you're going to be limited because you got to work quick right you're right. not going to be able to sit there and tweak exactly. out exactly really fine tune this stuff right 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 but the possibilities are getting open There's oh gonna my be gosh some cool stuff here. we're going to we will be showing you all of the possible designs that you can use. I know Erica uh, did some beach scenes, and she said that it that it she gave didn't even her. Warm it, did yeah, she? I don't know if she warmed it or not. <laughs> Erica, let us know in the comments. But I know she did some amazing uh, beachy things where she was able to get that really pretty cell. That, that you look for when you do those beach waves. Okay, Rhonda, I'm going to give All right, you half of so this. here. Yeah, give me. I'll give you half of that. Yeah. Or, or what did we say, 24? Oh, well, or? I'll be 28, 24, whatever you want. I'll make it work. All right. Woo-woo. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these. And in one of my cups, I have opaque dye, the brown opaque dye. Now, here's a new product that I'm going to be using tonight. And it is by, um, well, they used to be called Resin Art, and Erica can help me out here. I think they're calling themselves Color Art. And this is Vibrant something. Mm -hmm. I can't read. Aqua. Vibrant Aqua. Mm -hmm. Then we're using Just Resin. Oh, my gosh. This Caribbean Blue is sick. Whoop. And then I'm going to be using... Uh, also by Color Art, and this is a powder, and it's called Chris Golly. C H R Y S O C O L I A. Chris, I'm using this blue one. <laughs> I could not even tell you what what that is. And then I'm going to use a little bit of our copper mica powder by Leslie's Creation. So our Leslie Creation line, just for those of you that don't know, is the exact same colors uh, as our Polycolor line. And because a lot of the Polycolors have been discontinued, 
We will now carry those colors in our um, Leslie's creation line. Okay, so I'm going to turn, you know what, I'm going to keep what's them clear. What's the, uh, the, what's this color from Leslie Creations? I grabbed one. Uh, uh, coffee. Coffee from Leslie, yeah, cool. Yeah, coffee. I'm using coffee. I'm using the brown dye from Illumilite, white dye from Illumilite, just resin, beige, I should have known that name and white shimmer from Color Passion. So the next, we've been, we just got back from Renovation Hunters, which is a home renovation show that we've been invited to. We did countertops, a bar top. We've done shower walls for them. They go in and flip properties for um, like hunting and fishing cabins that are passed down. So it's a really cool thing we're a part of, but we're, uh, I'm making a white tail marble for the next countertop. So this is kind of what I'm going with. I'm going to go with some light, with some brown colors, uh, a coffee from Leslie Creations, and those, and a beige, and then a white mica. So this is my little test piece. Yeah, this will be fun. And now, Rob and, Ke and Kenny are going to be on the next show. Yeah, woohoo! TV stars. Listen, listen. And guys, let us know where I'm you're watching trouble. from too. Yeah, hey, and also say hello to our moderators out there who always do an a. Uh, Amazing job, Les, uh, Leslie, uh, who many of you know Leslie. She works in our shipping department. She has been with me for years. She is my A number one helper. Erica with Artist Till Death is our moderator. And Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs is also our moderator. Okay, look at this color, y'all. Oh, Holy cow, look at that. Isn't that sick? I sick, used all sick, my resin. Sick. I you forgot the bronze. <laughs> I forgot the coffee. Here. Oh, here's a little bit no, of clear. No, I'll just you add sure? some into the white. Okay. Uh, here, you want to use a little bit of this? No, I got it. What? Clara. And, yeah, Clara's not with us tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah, she is. Yeah, Clara. Holy cow, Clara. We love you, girl. I didn't know you were with us tonight. I am so sorry. Why did I? Okay. Y'all are making. Okay, wait. This. Is that enough for that? That's probably too much, isn't it? I think I made a different color. You did? Did you mix colors? No, I'm missing a color. Oh, I'm missing this color. Okay. Ooh, um, that's pretty. That's Clara, I am color. so sorry, hon. I did not know you were going to be with us tonight. I'm so, getting these out of the bucket. So everybody. Okay, let me tell you about this one, too. I'm also, yeah, I just started, I told you all about that. That's right. Never mind. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little preoccupied. So the thing about this is this product is you got to put your hurry on yeah that's the thing so we're a little preoccupied no talking during the live today yeah so we're nope we're, i'm ready to pour okay well get after so it i'm doing a rolling stone here rolling stone sorry and i'll often put a tape down but like Rhonda said there's really no need because this stuff is so dang thick and i'm going to pour out my ribbons and then just start melding I hope I got enough material. All right. Kenny, can you grab me a bundle spreader, please? That's a pretty beige. Mm-hmm. Now what? guys, don't let this don't let this scare you, okay? Yes, we are hurrying. Yes, you do have to put your hurry on. But once you become familiar, and we're on a live, so mm -hmm. we're trying to, I mean, it's a lot easier if you're not on a live trying to create. <laughs> yeah. But if, if you have everything ready to go um, before you do your project and you have it, you know, not a huge project, don't don't be scared of this project. Don't don't be scared of this product. Right. But Rhonda's point it was very smart is you got to be ready to rock. You're, you we had everything ready before we mixed A and B together. We had all our colors laid out. We had our cups. Luckily Kenny was here to hand you your Bondo spreader or else yes. Rhonda was going to be hustling <laughs> across okay. the shop to get her Bondo spreader. All right, can y'all see? I don't know if they can see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is lay down a skim coat and I'm going to leave a little bit of that aqua color from um color art i'm going to leave some of it in my cup now i'm just going to kind of come over here Whoa, look at that. and That's spread awesome. this out and it's going to be thicker than a kind of a normal what i would call a normal skim coat because i want this to kind of play uh play a part in the design so that's why i'm using this color now let, I haven't done this exact color recipe. I kind of changed it up a little bit from when I was 
playing with it. So I am kind of pushing that skim coat over my edge so that I can ensure that my epoxy is going to what? Flow over my side. Does anybody know why I put a skim coat? And I'll preference that with epoxy likes to what? Epoxy likes to go where? If somebody can answer that for me, first person is going to win a t-shirt. So epoxy likes to what? I know the answer. And I'm sure Christy knows and she's gonna Christy, have- Christy, you can't win. Yes, Christy. <laughs> we have Evelyn. What was Christy. the answer? Likes to go where resin has already gone. Yes, yep. perfect. Okay, so now I'm coming in with my brown opaque dye and I'm too kind of like Mitch, I'm just gonna kind of put it in bigger areas. I'm not putting little tiny strips and I'm going to hold a little bit in my cup. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I is- I love the Lazy Susan I for know, the edges, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Mitch, that looks amazing. This is my resin art color. I'm gonna bring it, same thing. Now, it is starting to get a little warm in the cup. Mm -hmm. I'm not really worried about that because I, I know we can heat this up with the torch and still have plenty of working time. What I like about it though too, Rhonda, is it's, it's gonna be new methods. There's gonna be new techniques sure. because as thick as this is, it doesn't like to melt. Like when I did right. an exotic pour, a dirty pour, mm -hmm. it really stayed segregated in the bucket. Yes, when that's you, what You know I how love. when you get really thick, it mm -hmm. wants to really meld before you do anything? Yes. You also can do stuff like this where you grab the white and really- Kind of drag pull, it. You can pull it over. Yes. Then I'm gonna hit that with alcohol. Yes. All right, guys, so what I've done now is I kind of put my other two Look colors down. Look at that come to life. Ooh la la. Oh, I love it. Okay, same thing. Here I go. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna meld and kind of push it off the edge. Uh, white tail marble for the W. Yes, I love it. Guys, let me know in the comments below. You want some white tail marble? So I Holy. Hey, make sure you get those edges. All right, so uh woohoo! Look at that. I wanted just that copper to kind of be uh, just a hint. Can I have a torch, Mitchell? Oh, here, here, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm messy. I'm a messy boy. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and tilt this so I can get my edges really well. Let that kind of roll over. I think I'm done. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of my air. So also that be um, this product being thick, folks. If you're doing a, a clear coat or woodworking, you're gonna want you're gonna need to torch it additional times. I lost my torch. You want another one? Yeah. So it is going to have a little more bubbles than normal. Because yeah. the thicker, um, it's taking longer for those micro bubbles to come up. But the torching is the same process. Gosh, this looks so pretty. Yeah, I love, oh my gosh. I love how the colors just kind of stay where you ask them to stay. So by kind of pushing these colors over the edge, I'm just gonna hit it with my hand. Man, this is... It's already sticking. How long we uh, been going? 19 minutes. Guys, right. let us know where you're watching from if they haven't already. Where's the furthest person? Yeah, let us know who the furthest person away is. And I would love to see uh, an emoji on how you're liking the live so far. Yeah, so we usually don't go this way. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Here, Luke. That is gorgeous, Mitch. Look at that edge. Yes, oh my gosh. So is this, Rhonda. Naples, New York. Ooh, that's pretty oh, far. Oh, wow, that's good. All right, so uh, whoever just won the shirt, I am so sorry, I forgot your name. But if you will do me a favor. Okay, you're going to have to email tomorrow leslie at rk3design.com. Give her your address. 
Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. This is amazing. I did a, um, a set of closet tables with this product, Rhonda, and my I just had three quarter inch sub flooring. Uh -huh. I put a two by four on end as mm -hmm. the bottom and they're going in a garage. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was rough construction. I bonded the front edge and then I did a dirty pour mm -hmm. and I peeled that tape at 20 minutes. Oh, wow. And my epoxy, 25 minutes, excuse me. The epoxy on that six inch, at four and a half inch edge looked like this along the whole thing. Oh my because gosh, Because as wow. it thickened up, it didn't just all run right off. Right. And oh Keith, my, my man, Keith is the guy who works at his house and he'll stick around till 3, 4 a.m. if he pours late to scrape drips. Keith, with this product, you could scrape drips at about 45 minutes and then go to sleep. <laughs> I don't really think Keith sleeps. <laughs> I, I really don't. When Keith stays here at the house, yep. we all, oh, I'm going to make a mess. We always know that Keith is up at the crack of dawn. And I love that because anything that needs to be done in the shop, he it's it done, done before I wake up. That's it's true. amazing. Okay. I'm make a vein. Why not? Oh, I'm going to hit it with alcohol. Okay, so maybe Luke, if you can do a fly over here and, and let's, oh, you know what I'm going to do really quickly before I do that? I'm going to run some veins. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I have a little bit of product in the cups. So, okay, I got an Australia. Ooh, that oh, guy's the man. Winner. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna run some veins. This is the Aqua I know. from Color Art. I'm gonna make a baby exotic pour. So look at the look at this. So look, this is my favorite way to run these veins because my product is starting to set up. It's those veins that I run. They're gonna stay. Oh my gosh! Look at this, Luke. Zoom in right here. <laughs> Zoom in right there. I'm making is a that thick not... exotic pour over here. Oh my, are you doing a baby one? I'm you need some a... colors? <laughs> I'm doing a thick one. Oh, This cool. stuff is still moving, but I don't know. I don't really want to put it on here, how pretty this looks. But I I'm know, don't it. mess it up now. Nah. Because I'm going to donate. Okay, so I, wanna, I forgot yeah, to tell y'all. Are going to send it to somebody or Well, uh, yeah. Or donate it to somebody? Uh, yeah, we're going to, one of these are going to, actually... We're going to do a, uh, we do a lot of charity work in our area. So cool. I've, so, seen, I've seen it in action, Rhonda. It, yeah. It's so heartwarming. So Glad I think one of these are going to go to um, to uh, one of our fundraisers. So let's do this. Real now listen to me very quick, very carefully. We're fixing to give one of these away. Now, before you answer this, understand, you are going to pay for the shipping, okay? So the shipping, I would think on something like this, probably under $20, but we are going to uh, give it away. But I'm not quite ready to yet. Let me do a few more things to it. I think um, you still got some edges you need to fix over Okay, here. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit it with some alcohol. I may be at the point where. Yeah, so take all the rules of, you know, you can alcohol so late. Yeah. It, as it thickens, if you've hit your alcohol and it doesn't do much, you can right. let that dissipate. You can warm it up, then alcohol it again, mm -hmm. and it can open it up. Yeah, so let's, but see, I kind of like this. I didn't want it Looks to do good. a lot. It's I wanted some cool. I know. Oh, look, look at the copper. What, is that copper? Yeah, Pain? it is. It's copper. All right. I don't know if I like this brown swipe, but I'm digging that I like weirdness that. going on. Okay, so let's see. What can we do? As a, oh, look at y'all, look at this. Look at the way that the alcohol is causing this copper and these blues to kind of meld together. Holy wow. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Liking that right there. <laughs> this oh, is boy. so much fun, y'all. So. So if you, you know, if I send this product to anybody in the, who's watching, would you like to test this product? But you got to do me a solid and you got to warm it up before you use it or else it's not going to be a fun time. 
There's something up there. Oh, a little booger. We'll get that gosh. out in the slide coat. I'm done. I'm oh not my messing gosh. with this anymore. I'm going to hit it with just a couple of more drops of alcohol. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right. So, Mitch. Yep. What do you think we need to, to ask our viewers? To win? To win. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. What are they winning? They're going to win a these. choice of one of these. Now, the thing about it is, is that you will be paying the shipping on this, okay? So, I want our moderators to it's pick. It's going to be up to me. Okay, so Kenny's going to pick them. So, that means the name Kenny sees first. Yes. It doesn't necessarily mean the name that you guys see first because of the way the way it works. Yeah, it the, shows it, up different to Yeah, us it sometimes. shows up differently. So Kenny's going to be the one that decides um, who, it's who he sees first. He's not deciding anything. He's going he's gonna to see it first. So let's do this. Um, hmm. Help me out here. I want to make it so something that, that, they, that we said maybe earlier. Hmm. Um, okay. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> We talked about the amount of UV stable ingredients, and we mm. gave a number. We said if Art Coat were a 10, what mm. is this? Ooh. Do you remember what Mitch said? I barely do. No, I'm I, do. I do. I do. I do. Ooh, I can't show you. Okay, so what did he say? Oh, I got one. Okay. We're looking. I'm what? Gonna, I'm gonna heat this okay, up. Okay, who it is it? Hand me that. A Z Joe. All right, which one? Which one? A Are you giving one away to the? I'm gonna give one, and one to our one, customer. Yeah. So A Z Joe, you get to pick which one you want, and then the other is going to go to our um, our fundraiser. Now, A Z Joe, remember you're paying. The what shipping. do you think the shipping would okay. be? 30, 40 bucks? No, like that? I don't think so. Not even that much? I think maybe, because we'll ship it probably US. I'm not sure. We'll box um, it up for them. But we, yeah, we'll I'll box it up. Let's sign it for them. We'll sign it. We'll flood coat it. We'll sign it for you. And we will get it out to you. Um, Look at these drips already, folks. Yep. Okay, so we just made that better, guys. Uh, Mitch has agreed. I'm going to donate it, and Mitch is going to pay the shipping. So AZ Joe, you're going to have this coming to you very soon. Free of charge. Uh, free of charge. All right. Well, we I guess just... you need to send the e his address. First. Yeah. So AZ, if you will do me a favor, email me Rhonda at rk3designs.com. Email me tomorrow and let me know. Now you have to be Twist within it. the United States. Spinner. Guys, that's the only thing. You have to be in the US. Yeah, I'm not that's gonna a stipulation. I always forget to say yeah. to Rhonda. Some of these items, folks, when you live out of the country, we can't ship them. Yeah. I've given away resin to a, a gentleman who lived in South Africa. I felt so bad I had to yeah. send him a hat. I could send a hat, yeah. but I couldn't send her resin. Right. So you uh, uh Joe, I hope you live in the US. Keith, are you watching? Did you see the drip removal, bro? Look Ooh, at how look, nice these edges look, look. Look at this. This is a drip. Yes. Um, uh, I'm not did he say which one he wants? Let's just we're I'm gonna waiting. we're gonna flood coat both. Man, these look huh? sick. Did he say? I like your no. fishers. All right, A Z Joe. We need to know, or we're gonna go to the next person. I'm gonna and then give we gotta you. We got to go, Big Joe. Right. You just rhymed like a rapper. I do. I'm gonna give you just a couple of more minutes, and if you don't tell me. Uh, which while, one you want, we're going to go to the next person and, that won. Yeah, that's right. And while okay. we're waiting, guys, let us know if you have any questions about Speed Cure, about some of these colors that Rhonda used, or any anything Mages. epoxy related. Huh? Say what? Mitch's. He wants, he wants Mitch's. Okay. Cool. That, man, good choice, dude. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, why so, tell marble, wouldn't you say? I, I'm why happy tell marble? With that. So this is a 24 inch round. So man, you I don't know if you can tell what size it is from the TV, but holy cow, I love this right here. That white. Yes, that's gorgeous. This white what color passion, white shimmer. Yeah. I never used it. Look at that. Our um often a lot of white micas are pearly micas. Yeah, this right? is a this is that's more a of a true white, white white mica. Yeah. Next to the white dye is stunning. Yeah. And then that little bits of brown in there. Mm -hmm. Man. 
Yeah, beautiful, I beautiful. I didn't like what this was doing, so I poured a baby dirty pour right there. Looks good. And it tied in. Okay, so fun. what do y'all think? Y'all like that? Let me know what you think about the colors. Um, on yeah. both of these pieces, they are absolutely gorgeous. It's almost done dripping too, Rhonda. I know. We scraped it, and I've only seen about a dozen more show. Right. So, so. at this point, we would wait another mm, 10, 15 minutes, scrape it one more time, and call it, not, call it a night. Yeah. Half hour. Yeah, so guys. And we could still torch. Right. We could still remove air. We're almost done with the drips. Okay, so. It's pretty much Perfect. bubble free too. Yeah. I'm gonna hit yours one time. Yeah. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our gloves off. And a, I think Mitch, what do you wanna do? About a 30 minute Q&A yeah. maybe? As long as the questions are flowing, we'll be answering them. All right, so. Um, Kenny, will you do me a, a, a solid, babe? Will you grab us two chairs? We're going to take everything off, and then we're just going to sit down and do some Q&A. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. So give us just a second. We're going to take our gloves off, get your questions ready, and Kenny will read us some questions. Well, you can and have your phone and then well, my phone is being used, mm -hmm. so I won't have my phone. <laughs> but okay, I'll take Luke's phone. All righty. Here we go. Man, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I broke a sweat. And we even were we were yapping a lot while yeah. that pox was chilling in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So, so like you said earlier, I would have not been yapping. I just would have been yeah. mixing and working. Yeah. And I, I honestly, um, I've been playing with this stuff all day today. And honestly, by heating it up a little bit, I know that's kind of counterintuitive. You think, well, by heating it up, I'm really going to use a, lose a lot of my open time. But because you're heating it, it becomes a little more fluid, yep. and I'm able to manipulate it a little bit better. So I would not hesitate at all doing a small vanity, a set of cornhole boards. Oh, yeah. Um, we did, uh, how big are those, Kenny? 30 square 30. feet shower panel? We did a 30 square foot shower panel, and Kenny and I were warming it, and we overheated the heck out of it. We probably noticed maybe a five to seven minute you know, started gelling up quicker. Then. Yeah, yeah, so and, you don't want to get it too it hot. we pushed it to the limits. Right, right. We were prepping, so we forgot it in front of the heaters for probably 35 minutes. Yeah, So yeah. you don't want to do that. The sweet spot's about 10 to 15 minutes in front of that heater, and then it's Yeah. Well, let's go have a seat. Go. Okay. We've got a lot of new people in the live seeing it for the first time. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. They loved it. You guys are amazing. Sweet. Well, we thank you so much for yeah. new for new visitors. I promise you. Uh, I did say something earlier about this is not necessarily for beginners. Mm -hmm. um, I, I still believe that. I think if you're just getting into working yeah. with epoxy, uh, work with your regular epoxy first, yep. your art coat first. Learn how to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Get comfortable manipulating it. Watch tons of videos. And uh, that way you'll have it's your true. confidence before you jump in. Now, I'm going to tell you this product is going to be amazing yeah. if you do tumblers. Yes. Uh, yes. Tumblers. I can't wait. I'm going to do a tumbler tomorrow. Was epic with it. Yes. So I'm super excited about that. Um, My edges on the woodworking were... Uh, sometimes dude, you got to do a lot of seal coats to build those vertical edges up. Um. I can't read this. This is like microscopic. I mean, uh, dude, I have my letters so big on my phone. Okay, this is better. <laughs> I legit, that was like microscopic. Uh, these are a little better. Guys, if you're okay. new here and you're enjoying this show, do the channel a solid and subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to help us out, if you're having a heck of a fun time, Share the video. You do not know how much that helps. It does. Add subscribers, add to the channel, gets Rhonda more views, which will get you more tutorial videos. Absolutely. That's what keeps us going, guys. And comment, comment, comment. I, I know it takes time to leave a comment. And I have haters out there that love to leave nasty comments. It's okay. Keep leave, them coming. Keep them coming mm -hmm. because Trolls. it makes me money. So yes. keep them up. Stand okay. That bridge. I got one for us. Yeah. How long before you can add a top coat, Michelle asks. Great question. So on this product, you're talking, if you're going to do a dirty pour and you're throwing eight to 10 ounces on, 
it's going to be so thick on your edges. Unless you want that additional durability and protection of a clear coat, you could go right to the ultimate top coat four hours later and do that in one single day. Okay. If I'm doing it, yeah. I'm doing a clear coat. Right. Can I preference that? Okay. So, like he said, because the product is so incredibly thick, you technically don't need a flood coat. Correct. But let me tell you, if you are going to put UTC yep. and you are not really confident Teresa. in your UTC application method, and right. we have several videos that, that explain the UTC, guys. Um, so if you're not doing sample boards with your UTC and you're not confident, I personally would put a flood coat, a clear flood coat, because now you've got a buffer between your color coat and your UTC if you have to sand it down. Now, that the sanding on the UTC is a booger because it should be. It, it's protective. You don't want to be able to take it off really slowly. I mean, easily. So, technically, yes. And right. if you are solid in your skills with yep. this, go full sin, color coat, then UTC. If not, I clear coat. I recommend a clear coat. It's a best case scenario. Why? Because e your vertical edges are going to be the thinnest part of epoxy. Mm -hmm. A hard impact on that, if you had a clear coat, is going to be better without a clear mm -hmm. coat. Mm -hmm. um, That's a good question. Yes. Joel asks, do you have a product you think would work for an RV floor? I was wondering about yeah. flexing. Totally. Our floor and epoxy has flexation to it, like our countertop epoxy, like this epoxy. If it doesn't have any, it's going to fracture and, and crack. So our, our epoxy... Our flooring moisture seal epoxy primer, I'm sorry, and our flooring epoxy mid coat, all those products are completely compatible in an RV. And we're actually getting home, we're, when I get home from here, mm -hmm. I have a 28 fifth wheel that's gutted that I get to completely Ooh. do. I'm doing a shower, I'm doing a shower pan, uh, wow. floors. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be legendary. Um, Teresa Griffin asks, yes, Teresa, I see you on the channel all the time. You know what you're doing with epoxy. I would love for you to test it. Shoot me an email at Mitch at StoneCoatCountertops.com. I'll shoot you a couple gallons of this to uh, give a test to Ruski. But you just got to give me your feedback and be sure to heat it up. Uh, and before you use it, holler at me and I'll talk you through how we prep the products. It's the proper way to do it. Uh, definitely don't mix it up cold out, uh, especially in the winter months. It's arriving from FedEx. Right. You never know how long it sat in North Dakota getting mm -hmm. ice cold. So absolutely, definitely absolutely. Warm it up. And I that did goes for art coat. Too. Yes, and I did answer. I kind of jumped on um, a discussion on one of the insiders. I don't know if it was y'all's insiders or my insiders, um, but someone said something about oh, epoxy can never freeze. Well, that is incorrect. Correct. It can freeze. So. If you know that you're going to be getting a hard freeze, if you still live up north where it's nice and brr, don't order, okay? <laughs> don't order if you know that your epoxy is going to be shipped during a freeze because and it will freeze and you're out of town <laughs> or you're not going to be able to grab it because you got to remember, it's going to be sitting on those trucks also yes. and it will freeze. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so I do tell people all the time, if you know that there's a big, huge freeze, I would kind of hold off. You don't want to pour epoxy in those temperatures anyway. Exactly. You want to keep your temperatures above 65 degrees. I had a question about the polyaspartic. Mm -hmm. I've tested three formulas. Every formula is getting closer to the end. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a new one when I get back in a week. So we're getting closer, but I'm not going to uh, pull the trigger on that till I'm 100% happy. I want it to match art code as close as possible. Mm -hmm. You're not going to need to rush and heat it up. and mm -hmm. It's going to be just like art code. That's, yeah. the, that's the goal. So yeah. I'm not going to settle for anything less. Perfect. And that's what we want. We want it to be tested completely uh, so that you guys don't have issues. Okay. So I had someone ask me, what did we put down on our board prior to pouring? So we have a little fun little, mm -hmm. little thing. So um, it was just one of those rounds that you can get at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. It was a 24 inch round. We sanded it. Uh, Filled Mitch, Bondo, the yep, knot holes. Bondo, the knot holes. And um, and then we just painted the stone coat countertop undercoat. Right. Now, here's the fun little um, fun fact. Normally, we've not been able to tint the undercoat successfully. Uh, you can't tint it with a paint because a paint is a latex product and you're mixing it 
into the undercoat, which is not a latex product, okay? But I, uh, Mitch actually tinted it with our Color Art yep. dyes, and they're actually not a dye. Ten okay? droplets. Of yeah, that. it's more Potent. of a, a pigment, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll be making some phone calls. I'm going to find out exactly what that is. Yeah. But it was successful. So Worked he great. was able to actually uh, tint the white undercoat with some of that color art. Mm -hmm. I um, first tinted it hickory, which I thought was brown, and it was green. Yeah. So, <laughs> so then I just slammed in some black, and it turned it gray. Yeah. That's some so, cool stuff. Yeah, so we're many, still going to be playing gonna be with that. There's going to be tons of colors available, right? Yeah, yeah. So the Illumilite dyes can tint it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt to right. fully incorporate those dyes into right. that paint. Right, and the dyes don't mix it. They don't tint no. it as well no. as this Color Art product does. And like I said, 100%. give me a week or two, and I'll have that on my website. Um, so I'm super excited. Has Mitch um, lost weight? Hell yeah. Uh, heck yeah. Thank you. Uh, there was a great question. What was the ideal temperature to heat up the good product? Question. That's a fantastic mm -hmm. question. And that justifies me going to Home Depot and purchasing a infrared heater, mm -hmm. a thermometer, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. I have no idea. I'm just going time frame. That's fantastic. In the feel of the bottle. Yeah. So yeah. very good, Kenny. Uh, what I'm paying, we're paying attention to is so when it's out of the box, we're turning it and the material is thick. It's honey thick. Yeah. We're putting it in the heater and I, I, I'm i feeling the, the temperature of the bottle. I notice it warmed up and now I'm moving it to see if it's flowing more like Art Coat like, does. It almost is like, get this visual guys, when you pull it out of the bucket, it's like cold honey. Yeah. When we heat it, it, get, it, yeah, it gets more like syrup, pancake syrup. Okay. Bingo. That's yeah. a great. Yeah. Close yes. to like, like, Crisco. like Aunt, your Aunt your mama, Aunt your mama extra thick pancake sauce. <laughs> or not pancake sauce. Pancake syrup. <laughs> pancake syrup. Pancake salsa down here yeah. in Texas. <laughs> pancake sauce. They have salsa on everything here. Quit being my haters. Stop. No, this is epic. Okay. Which uh, Bondo do you use, David asks. Kenny uh, grabs some automotive Bondo. It's extra creamy, so. Yeah, it's it's by 3M. 3M creates it. Bondo, a lot of it's the same formula. What's different about it? You have like your all-purpose Bondo or your fillers. It's how creamy it is, how how smooth it is. They're, they're changing that consistency. So Kenny's is money. I love that Bondo. I like that new Bondo. Uh, you could get it in big gallon jugs. Oh, if you go to like an automotive paint supplier or an auto body shop, they have great, great Bondos there. Better yeah. than you can get at uh, Home Depot. <laughs> Brittany says words are hard. I know. Hard. And if you have Botox in your top lip, y'all don't know. <laughs> I don't. It, there's certain words that don't come out of your face just exactly the way you want them to. So, I think it's thank you. Brain. It's not my brain. It's my Botox. Brett, I do eat venison snack sticks. Kenny has some <laughs> thawing out currently yes. on the tabletop. <laughs> Buck sticks. <laughs> All right, let's see. Does this you... Mm -hmm. Do you sell your aprons? That's a dangerous. Sure, twenty bucks. You want one? So Let me know. The lady in the hit, yeah, hit up Leslie at rk3designs.com. There are oh yeah, Evelyn's saying there are metallic colors also available from Color Art, right? Yeah. Do you sell I, those yet? Right. I, I, mm, no. Yep. I nope. I haven't got them yet. <laughs> <laughs> I got my big box of all my colors that I'm testing right now. So I will definitely, definitely be carrying a lot of those metallics, you bet. All right, so Dad Gummit, I missed it. Oh wait, here's the I gotta say something real quick. Okay. About Keith. Did you guys see the video that we put on our YouTube channel about Keith? That video was epic. Uh, Keith's one of our, we send him products. He make, mm -hmm. he has a YouTube channel. Case, mm -hmm. You guys probably all know, KCDC Designs. Mm -hmm. We send he him comes products. He all our classes. He creates amazing countertops. So, he sent us one of his. It's on our channel. It's our most recent video. Go check it out. It's really good. Yeah, I think he's um, working off his phone tonight. I think he's sitting on a special chair. That's all I'm going to say about that. A special that. chair? He's sitting a on a special pillow? chair. No, we're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> leave it at that. He's sitting he's on a special. Clean. Oh. Shh. Hush. Okay. Colon Shh. cleanser. Dot God almighty. <laughs> Hush. All right. My Does hurts. humidity speed up hmm. for curing? <laughs> yeah. It does. does humidity? It does. 
we're fixing to end this live really no, quick. No, no, this is a great question. Children don't behave. <laughs> Kenny's been good. It's all this me. is what happens when Mitch and Kenny get together. Stop. Okay, we're, this is serious. I'll bring the bad decisions. He does. That's okay. It. Does humidity speed up yes. for curing? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yep. But what does it does do to UTC? Slows it down. So for UTC, for your undercoat, anything that's water-based, boom, boom, slows it down. Ask so, us how we know. Yeah, we do. Hawaii. 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 Yes. So. Wind, air movement also will speed up your curing of the UTC. So we notice that on floors. When we can't shut the floors and we're doing that UTC, we're noticing it get sticky uh, yes. much yes. faster. So close windows, shut your fans off, turn the AC off when you're about to do that UTC. And keep the AC off for mm, three to four hours till that really gets tacky mm -hmm. or you could blow lint on top of that uh, finish. Yes, yes. Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn says I'll bring the bell money. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, How was the wedding? I saw that question. Oh, per, hey, oh. Uh, you get it uh, for the for this person, Perth, Australia. Oh, Perth. Who Perth is it? Uh, color obsession gal, or I don't know. No, who from Perth. Yeah. Who is from Perth? I don't know. That's the winner. That's the furthest one. That That's I the thought. farthest one. Man. Yeah. Um, so you can send her a shirt. I can send you. Guys, a, share your favorite yeah. emoji right now. Yeah. Whoever shares the. My favorite emoji, I'm going to send mm, a hat. Those hats are awesome, y'all. Awesome. Okay, so the person from Perth that's on here that mentioned earlier, send me your address and I'll send you a t-shirt, okay? Like oh, this is a great question okay. for you, Rhonda. Me? Okay. Yep. Andrea asks, how are alcohol dyes different from the pigment dyes? Mm. Okay, alcohol dyes... So Tastes that's, delicious. that's really a great, <laughs> makes a really good drink. Um, so alcohol dyes typically aren't going to be color fast in epoxy like our dyes are going to be. Okay, so uh, Erica is our resident color expert and I'm going to let Erica jump on this. Is she not here? Oh, Erica jumped off. I'm sorry. Okay, I will get you that answer. Will you do me a favor? Will you email me at Rhonda at RK3 Designs? I'm gonna answer that for you, but this is a quick, this is a quick answer. So our alcohol inks, uh, which you see a lot of people do art with, yep. they are not color fast. Uh, most of them aren't. Most. Now, 95%. in saying that, they've really started to come out with some amazing dyes, yep. okay? So a lot of these companies that have these really high-end uh, dyes are starting to um, kind of skirt around that issue or they're making them really, really high quality. Yeah. Now the dyes that we use, like the Illumilite dyes and things like that, those are color fast. Yep. Uh, I can't tell you chemistry-wise what the difference is, but I will find out for you if you'll email me. Right. Uh, Erica had her tooth uh, worked on, so I know she's on some painkillers. So mm. I think she's jumped off. So we're gonna we're gonna let her get some rest. Keith um, picked my favorite emoji, but sorry, buddy, Michelle picked it about two ahead of you. So Michelle, email me at Mitch at StoneCoatCountertops.com, and I'll send you one of these yeah, brand new mounts. Creative canvas. It was I this. Is the one from what? Australia. It was the poop Wait, emoji is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. The chocolate pudding Fiona. is my favorite emoji. Yes. Okay, so yeah, sit, um, yes. what was her name? Fiona. What was her name? The smiling Fiona. chocolate pudding. That's yeah. what it is. Fiona, if you will please email me at Rhonda at RK3 Designs. Give me your address and I will get a t-shirt out to you. Let me know what size that you want. Um, okay. Ooh, I got a quick announcement. Yep. Um, our hats are going to be for sale very soon on the website. I yep. talked corporate yeah. polytech into giving me the green light so. yeah let me see ours. check out kitties yeah let us know model <laughs> come on Ooh la la. Uh, why don't you come over here nice okay cats ron to put it on okay so these are our rk3 hats we have not really... we have not ordered them to put on the website but if i get enough mm. um mm. what do you call and you it? have the other one that's big rk3 yeah if we oh, get right. enough um we're, want we're to we will put them on the website so see that here, get, get your head next to mine. What y'all think? Mm, howdy, ma'am. All right. Howdy, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, let us know. 
uh, in the comments if you would like to be what able to purchase like these. Gray. Yeah, do you like gray? What other color is Green. there? Green, black. Black. Black, mm. gray, kind of let me know what color y'all want. I like black. Well, All you right. want to have visors. Gray. All right, visors? Mm -hmm. No, but you know, hey, hmm. We don't, we don't know. What about tank tops? Would y'all like some tank shirt? Not tank tops, but like like shorter. Shirt? I don't know what you mm. call them. Tanks? Whatever. Anyway, let me know. I'm thinking about doing below. a color recipe in my overalls without a t-shirt on. Nope, maybe. not on my live. You won't. <laughs> okay, yeah, overalls. You get too many subscribers. Oh, Rhonda, I do, I do, I do. I need a teal. You're right. We need we need to have a Ooh. RK3 in an aqua or a teal. Facts. Absolutely. 100%. Yes. Yes. Uh, I bet they do. I'll ask them. Branded Bills is the place to go, though. Yeah. Check them out. Uh, Lisa. Quality. Miller, I don't know if Leslie ever made a new design on the apron. I don't know. She'll have to answer that, uh, but I will follow up with her tomorrow. Oh, I have another teal. Oh, I have another teal. Okay, teal. What does the RK3 stand for? Rhonda, Kendi, and what? Rhonda, Kenny, Connie, and Kendra. My two daughters and my third child, Kenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Rhonda, Kenny, Connie, and Kendra. You might want to remember that because I use that on a lot of questions when I give away prizes. Um, okay. Question. Yes. Uh, new to epoxy, what's the difference between mica powder and metallic powder? Okay. So there's really not a lot. Okay. So let me, let me preference this. There are a lot of mica powders on the market. And you're going to mm -hmm. get what you pay for. Yep. All righty. So... A mica powder is actually a mica, okay? There's sheets of mica, and it's Grounded. ground up into a powder. Most micas are metallic. Now, you do have some non-metallic micas. The thing about those is normally those are full fillers. of fillers. Talcums, and, and they fade. Yes, talcums. They're very hard to mix. Nobody likes fillers. Yes. There are, in hey, any, I have, in I any have, product, I have a few. Uh, hey, oh, you better watch you talking, it. Oh, those fillers. Yes. Okay. I was thinking of different fillers. Okay. So, Micah's I'm back to about. metallics. That's right. Most mica powders, we interchange the word metallic powders and mica powders. Most of us yep. artists will interchange those words. The true word is mica. Yeah. The true word is mica. Uh, and most micas are metallic, if that makes sense. Now, let's talk yep. a, bit, a little bit about the paste. So, just resin paste, for instance. Uh, color passion paste, for instance. We have metallic paste, and we have non-metallic paste, which are just maybe a solid like a color. Thicker dye almost. Yeah, they like. don't they don't have that shimmer. Uh, beautiful. I love to use paste and metallics even a dye, all in the same yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, same uh, project Correct. like I did it's, back here. Yep. I used a dye, I used a mica powder, and I used a paste. Yep. You really do get some cool effects, uh, especially when you hit them with alcohol, because the alcohol is going to react different yep. to your paste than it does your powders. And stuff. Yep. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Yeah, when I'm doing a, uh, my rule of thumb when I'm doing a Rolling Stone or a, a dirty pour, anybody, let me know the difference between a dirty and exotic pour. That person's winning a hat too. Um, but <laughs> when I do my rule of thumb for a dirty pour or a Rolling Stone is I'm doing you have to look for it. two dyes and I'm doing two micas. But you could do one die, you could do, you could do one die, you could do four micas but I'm always doing a combination of them. And when I come to Texas, I get to play with these pastes. So I'm doing a dye, I'm doing a paste, and I'm doing a couple powders. And I know that those are gonna make magic as soon as I heat it up and mist it with that alcohol. Yeah, there is no difference. There are the same. AZ Who's, Joe said Christy that. can't win. Yeah. It wasn't her. No. Sorry. <laughs> I love you, Christy, but you've Okay, like AZ, prizes. I'm gonna skip over you, dude. You've already won something. So I'm gonna say, uh, huh? Melody. Brent. Brent got it first. Okay, actually. Brent. Sorry, guys. Uh, we appreciate you guys playing, but so we're going to be fair. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be fair. So we're going to we let. We got to spread the love, girls. Yeah, and boys. So, so Brent. Ru Exotic Ruling? is more funny, she says. <laughs> is more what? Exotic <laughs> is more fun. <laughs> Laugh. Oh. All right. Ooh la la. 
I think the Mac. Okay, uh, there was a great question here that I have saved. Yeah. Uh, How did you Mac, save it? I just scrolled up and I saw it, so oh, I kept okay. it there. So we <laughs> just ordered gloss UTC to redo our matte finish. Will that help the glitters come through more if we go through the hassle of redoing it? Mm -mm. I've watched the videos, but not sure. You want me to answer? Or you can answer. You can answer, but the the matte does tone down like your diamond dust. The glass, the gloss will add a tiny bit back, yeah. but it's covering it up versus that high gloss. Right. It's, it's right. different. Yeah. Well, see it, oh, with the glossy UTC, you're going to see it 25% better than you would right. with that. Then, then a gloss matte is going to really right. Top. You still see the shimmer. Yeah. It's just different so, shimmer. So this is why, guys, we really recommend you guys do sample boards first. I, I probably answer 10 to 15 emails and phone calls a day just about the UTC. And probably I could wipe out 75% of those questions if you guys would do sample boards first, okay? <laughs> honestly, that's facts. honestly, that's facts. Um, because- You could like fire some helpers if they I just could. did that. <laughs> I could, <laughs> I would not be drinking quite so much if you people would do some damn sample boards. I'm just saying, no, but really, honestly, stop it. <laughs> honestly, um, if you have the mat, you've already basically kind of covered it up, okay? Uh, you can sand it down. I would sand it good with 220, get it nice and level. You do not have no. to take it all the way down. No, but, true. But if you have a clear flood coat over your color coat, yep. you can actually sand it all the way down, come back over with your gloss, and you will see the diamond dust much better than if you just sand your mat smooth yep. and then go over with the gloss. Did that make sense? I hope it did. If it did not, do not hesitate to call me tomorrow uh, on our uh, business line. It's on our website. Give me a call and I would love to talk to you about that if you have any yeah. questions, okay? And guys, that goes with anything. Uh, I'm here, Leslie's here. Give us a call and if we don't answer, uh, we'll call you back, okay? At some point, I promise you, we will call you back. Keith asked if you f if we found his eyeglasses nope. lens yet. Okay, I have to tell a funny story. Please. I have to tell a funny story on Keith. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, I swear. I stroke. This man, <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to we the airport. We love you, Keith, so much. <laughs> we're going to the airport uh, Sunday. No, Monday. I'm taking him to the airport. And he's in the car and he's like, you know, he goes, I don't understand. He said, my left eye is, is it's blurry. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I cleaned my glasses and my left eye is just blurry. And he, you know, and then he was kind of quiet and then we were talking and he goes, he goes, you know, that could be a sign of something. You know, I could be having a stroke or, or something, you know, because my left eye, it's, I, think I'm becoming I can't a see. Boomer. Yeah. <laughs> And so I didn't really say anything. I was like, well, man, I hope he's not having a stroke. I hope no, he's okay. We love you, Keith. Yeah. So I dropped him off at the airport. All right. So I'm driving home and about 10 minutes later, I get this phone call and he said, uh, guess what? I'm going to tell you something funny. I thought he missed his flight. I'm not stroking. Yeah. He said, I'm not stroking. He said, my lens from my glasses had popped out and he was looking through one lens and no <laughs> lens. And, and I was like, it took you that long to figure it out? <laughs> so that's Keith. The same problem happened to me. My kid popped my lens out. And I did a YouTube live with Mike, and that, back when I was at the command center, remember when I had uh -huh. the camera on me? Right. So I, I had one reflection, but I'm blind in my right eye, yeah, he so really you can't, can't see. see out of it. And I didn't know I was missing a lens until I went to scratch and I poked my own eye. I'm like, what the? And then I went back and watched the replay, and so, everyone could see that I had one I know, lens. I know. So Sorry, guys, Keith. give me some love. Do you see what I have to work <laughs> with? Do you understand why my hair is white? Because I have to work with these people. So, oh, so funny. That was a good story. Love. You got All a lot right, of love gonna, there. We're going to do just a couple of more questions. I bet Keith's very red right now. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, y'all. If y'all ever want to see the reddest face in America, say something about <laughs> Because he will literally turn red. Just he saying. could heat up his house in the middle of Nebraska winter yes. just with his red face. My and his ears will glow. 
We All love right. you so much, Keith. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see. Bless but your did heart. You, do you see how many people said they've done the same thing? That's right. Yeah. That's good. It's common. I guess so. Yes, it is. Do y'all think you were stroking out, though? That's the question. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. I'm wondering. But no, I have not found. Okay. Do we have any questions? We're fixing a wrap Yeah, we're good. And it's red now. How, how could he clean the glass if the lenses were gone? No, he cleaned them and it popped out. He didn't realize it popped out. We never checked the towels. I bet it no. was in the same towel. I know. I did with. check the towels. You, you I didn't shook see them out? Them. Yeah, I shook them out. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. Was that what Halo was chewing on last <laughs> night? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Were they polymer oh, yeah. lenses or class lenses? That's Keith? right. Let us know in the comments below. That's right. Okay, guys, I think we're done. Yeah. We're All right, it's 8 o'clock. We're done. Yeah. No more questions. It's been a blast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um,. I love you guys. And yeah. this is so much fun. It and was. I love you guys. I, I love you, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I'm drinking water. Just saying. Me too. Okay. All right, guys. And until next time. Remember, don't be scared. Move forward and be creative. And from Stone Cold Countertops, don't forget, you got this. And we'll see you on RK3's next Epoxy Live. Adios.